gonna show you guys a chicken schnitzel and it is a love letter to a place I love in Montreal. This is my version of their chicken schnitzel that I am obsessed with. So for this, we're gonna serve a side of red cabbage. One red cabbage, one large onion cooked in a little butter and olive oil, salt and pepper, of course. I spice it up with some fresh bay leaves, a little sprinkle of allspice, caraway mixed with cumin. And then we're gonna add a splash of vinegar to brighten it. And then, oh, a fat splash of chicken bone stock or chicken stock in a box. Pop a lid on that and let it cook out until it's nice and tender. You're braising the cabbage. Down here, it's, it's called skoog. It's kind of fun to say, like school, skoog. Um, but it's just a fresh, green, chili-based hot sauce. Yes! Okay. So into your high power blender, your food processor, two bunches of cilantro, one whole bunch of flat leaf parsley, and about a half a bunch of mint leaves. All that goes right down in there. Then we're going to add two big old jalapeno chilies, coarsely chopped, leave the seeds in. That's what makes the hot sauce hot. Now we're gonna throw in four fat cloves of garlic, and these are bird's eye chilies, these little red fresh chilies, right? for those little guys. And then we're going to add some ground cumin to this, about a teaspoon or a third of a palmful. And the thing that makes it really interesting in flavor, a little ground cardamom, about a teaspoon of each of those, a fat teaspoon of salt to help break everything down, and then some lime juice for our brightness, for our acidity. Get my little squisher. Here we go. And then we're gonna add about a half cup of EVOO. Pop the lid on, and away we go. When you bring it home, set it down and take your sharp knife, this is a boning knife, and open the chicken like a book. You do this by just kind of peeling back while you're slicing, just like that. When we come back, I'm gonna walk you through the breading station and we'll start frying up our schnitzels right after this. So, you guys know the standard breading procedure, right? It's the flour, the eggs, and the breadcrumb. So, we're going to season up our breadcrumbs now. I've seasoned the AP flour, all-purpose flour, with salt and pepper. I've seasoned some beaten eggs with salt and pepper. I season every layer as we go. The chicken has salt and pepper on it as well. The uh, breadcrumbs, I'm going to use those same uh, flavors over again that we used in our cabbage. I used the seed in the cabbage. I'm going to use ground caraway and cumin in our breadcrumbs. And always in my schnitzel crumbs, I put a little nutmeg. So you take your chicken, pat, flip, there we go. And then you're gonna let it go into the hot tub of love <laughs> and get nice and crispy. I'll get one going for you. Now, come on down here, I gotta rinse up real quick. I'm gonna just talk about fried capers. Uh, one of the garnishes for this dish, other than the scoop that we made, our green hot sauce, and the whipped honey, is fried capers. For the capers, you drain them off, use a larger caper, and when you fry capers in a little olive oil, they open up like flowers, it's really pretty. I'm gonna fry up the capers and drain them on the paper towel. We'll get some schnitzel out and some more schnitzel in, and I'll meet you right back here, right after this. This is very exciting indeed. This is my ode to Arthur's in Montreal, Canada. Hello everyone at Nash Bar, I love you. While it's still hot, I'm gonna take whipped honey. Whipped honey is not whipped. It's honey that's kind of crystallized. I fried up my capers. I'm gonna get them out of the pan. Drain them on paper towels. They get nice and crispy and they kind of open up like flowers. And then on top of that, we're gonna add our skug, our homemade green chili hot sauce. Drip that all around. And then our crispy capers all over that. Yeah. <laughs> And then our beautiful braised cabbage right alongside that.